I left it on Big Snoop. <laughs> that was fun. I thought it was appropriate. You know, we we have this new view. We have to get a that kitty. Was fine. Cat, cat cam. I'm going to. There we go. I took the blur off, and now you can really oh. see the contours of his oh. fur. fur. Little fur ball. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's pretty so important. <laughs> Uh, what's awesome. up, you guys? It's Hello. Thursday. Oh my God, it's Thursday. So I know, Sweater, you were talking about beginning of semester. I'm also, I think all of us are just like, ah. Yep. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Yo. semester. <laughs> what? Yeah. Earl, are you I, coming, or Prof, are you coming back to us? Or is oh, this I, I. You don't have to. Up. I'm just, yeah. He looks pretty comfy, which is making there. me kind of want to come. Oh, there it is. Oh, so fancy. Hey, so hi. Fancy. Hello. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's Thursday. Like earlier today, I was uh, doing some Wizards Unite news live and I just like could not find the right words for anything. I, it's just one of those days where my brain is not working. So uh, welcome to Profs Play. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and what, what better a day to be playing mobile games? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, so with that, with that nice little, uh, I'll take the segue into, we're doing mobile games. So I, um, many of y'all know, I do Wizard PhD. I do Harry Potter Wizards Unite primarily. Um, I've also played Pokemon Go. Sweater Wolf has a, a connection to Pokemon Go. <laughs> a deep connection, you could say. So, yeah, I thought that... For me personally, one of the reasons why I wanted to look into mobile games for this week is just because to be in my followers know this, to be quite frank, I am so bored with the mobile gaming experiences that I've been doing lately. And so I'm just kind of like, what else is out there? And so some of them tease me because they're like, oh, you're a traitor. Like, you're not playing Wizards United. It's like, yeah, well, I'm sorry. I got to I got to like see what else. The, the world is big, you know. So um, the first, I have two questions for y'all. And so I don't know, I'm doing it in this order. I originally had one, but I wanted to like do a preface type question. So, and this is for everyone in the chat as well, but based on your experiences, how would you describe mobile gaming? So I just, I offered like a very brief glimpse and I, I introduced the word boredom, but that's kind of like where I'm at right now. Cause I don't, think that most, here, yeah. I don't think most people play like a game and cover it and like have to talk about it so much over and over. So there's, there's like that caveat there, but I'll open it up to the profs here. Um, on your own experience, based on your own experiences, how would you describe mobile gaming? I pass the baton because we're all too nice. I have to pass the baton. <laughs> I'm trying so <laughs> hard not to be an okay doomer. Don't take um, me first. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it down to sweater. All right. Uh, yeah. So um, as a wizard referenced, I have a huh? Oh yes. Hey, hello. Oh my gosh, we never introduced ourselves. Hello. Oh. You should know who we are. Right? So like, yeah, I know by now. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Intro us first. This is I the question understand. that everyone should be thinking about, though, as we're talking. Think yes, about this right. question. We could do we could do like a twofer, right? Introduce yourself and then and state answer. your yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, true, like, like a true yeah. icebreaker. Yeah. Yes, yes, true icebreaker. Style. Two things wow. about me that are true are. <laughs> it's it's real start of the semester energy. This yeah, and I me to the stream. I had no idea what you were saying, Jay, and I like it sounded like you were summoning a cat. You were just like. <laughs> 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 I'm also doing that. I didn't. <laughs> I should have warned I know. you. No, he's, he's actually cursing us in secret. That's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, that's right. that it, worked. it worked. It worked. I'm in the cat. I'm going to play that typing, uh, type, type, text assist again and curse you all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm just glad I'm not the only one that's bringing a start of the semester <laughs> energy. Uh, so, speaking of which, I am Sweater Wolf. Uh, I am an assistant professor of uh, game design at High Point University. My semester started on Monday and I am appropriately frantic. Um, but yeah, so mobile gaming, as Wizard referenced, I did write my dissertation on Pokemon Go. I somehow convinced my committee that that was a real topic to write about. Um, and yeah, I don't know. So, I guess 
you know, thinking from that perspective, uh, some of the things I really liked about when I was studying Pokemon Go was the sense of community um, and the sense of local community. That was actually one of the things that drew me into it, right? And this is getting more specific than mobile gaming generally, but that idea of like meeting up with people, right? And, um, you know, having your online spaces and your offline spaces kind of, um, overlap with one another. Um, in a more like personal way, when I think of mobile gaming, I think of interruptibility. That's probably like the top word that comes to mind just because I, you know, the occasions when I play mobile games or when I'm waiting on something or I'm like messing around or I want to look at my phone and not doom scroll. Um, so, you know, I've been, I actually have Apple Arcade. So I've been playing Grindstone recently. I don't know if anyone's played that one, but uh, it's pretty addicting. I'm not really much of a puzzle game person, but uh, it's like, I guess the breakout hit of Apple Arcade and it's really, really fun. Um, so yeah, that's what I think of is, is like, this is something that I'm going to spend time on when I'm like, just need to give my brain a break. Um, and I'll pass it, um, I guess we'll pass to, maybe you'll introduce yourself at the end wizard. I will pass it. <gasps> we still got it. I will yeah. pass it. All right. Oh, oh, no, all right, all right, ready? <laughs> All right, I got it. <laughs> oh, no. I had to think. Maybe do it at the same time. We're ruining oh, the illusion. That's right. Well, you had to travel through. You know, there there is some real space there. It's like oh, a, went through the tubes. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Went through the, well, the, through the tubes. I mean, the, yeah. the internet is nothing but a series of tubes. Anyway. So. <laughs> uh, hello, y'all. I am Jay plays games. I also have that energy, so I'm glad to be back and sharing it together. Uh, you know, Thursday. I I love Thursdays. I love streaming with y'all. It's, it's a highlight of my week, and I I mean that genu genuinely. So uh, I uh, occasionally, I can now say I occasionally stream. Uh, I, I played FTL last week. I'm going to try to stream maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Um, Fridays are looking like maybe streaming days uh, this semester, which is kind of nice. Uh, so um, mobile, mobile games. Yeah, you know, mobile games are fine, I guess. I mean, you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll answer this in two kind of ways. Uh, personally, um, you know, I, uh, I don't play much on mobile um, you know, I play on tablet, uh, I play on an iPad and I play FTL of that game uh, on on uh, the iPad because I think it translates really, really well. In fact, I actually prefer playing it on the tablet to to playing on uh, PC. I'm not sure if that counts as mobile. I guess it does. It's on a device that's mobile. Is the switch mobile? I don't know. So, you know, that's a it's a weird it's a weird divide anyway. Uh, but most other sort of mobile games that, that I played, certainly in the sort of you know early 2010s, 2012, 2000, you know, when they were really starting to kind of um, come to the forefront and everyone was talking about mobile gaming and stuff like that. Um, it always just felt very uh, scammy, uh, you know, trying to get you to, to my, for microtransactions and, and you know, enter bits and locked out timers and getting you to spend money and stuff like that. And I was always a little turned off by that kind of feel anyway. Uh, and so from the other way I would answer this is, is um, kind of from a historical or, or sort of, you know, research kind of standpoint um, is that, you know, when, when mobile, again, at that same period in 2012 or so, when like just everything was mobile um, and uh, there was this big, you know, uproar in gaming communities, which you should usually ignore anyway, but everyone was saying mobile or mobile games are going to ruin the industry and they're going to ruin gaming. And this isn't real gaming, blah, 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 blah. And everyone was up in arms and stuff about it. Uh, and then, you know, everyone, it just kind of settled into its own niche. And so, you know, it's not zero sum. And that's the, the thing I always try to remind myself and, and certainly the students that I work with and others. A gaming, like other forms of media, is not zero sum, right? You can have tons of different types of formats and people can enjoy different ones. I don't particularly like ballet, but, you know, some people do. Um, I, you know, I'm not a big fan of country music, but other people are, whatever, right? Uh, and so um, I think people were very worried about all the resources that, that companies were putting into mobile games um, and they made tons of money and then realized that there are certain ways and certain audiences that will keep spending those monies and sort of fell off from most of the other mobile gaming. It didn't destroy gaming. Um, if anything, it, you know, just gave it a new flavor, I guess. So that's why I say mobile gaming. That's yeah, fine. And with that, I will use the power of anti-gravity to levitate upwards Upwards into like a whole your, different state. Yeah, like your <laughs> your uh, pop filter will use gravity. <laughs> oh gosh! All I'm gonna do is fight with this pop filter all stream. Uh, what is going on, everybody? Um, Prave here from the channel Prave Plays, and I'm kind of glad that you brought up some of the kind of some of the lows, right, of of mobile gaming. Jay, uh, I, I guess the the best. If, I, if we're doing the one word thing, I guess the best word I can think of is 
I feel very ambivalent about mobile games. I feel like very conflicted about them, you know, because on the one hand, it is such an, um, I think there's something interesting that happens when you take a game and you change its platform, right? I think the platform can really have an impact on, on the design, right, of a game and also the experience, right, of a game. So, you know, going back to, to Sweater's example, like in what, until the Nintendo Switch, right, and even then, right, in what, with what other platform could we ever do something so social, with Pokemon, right? I mean, yeah, we could like haul our Game Boys around, I guess, and like play with randos on the bus and like things like that. But like, you know, I feel like things like Pokemon Go and then of course its predecessors, right? Really, I think changed the landscape of gaming in like a positive way, right? So I think there's something really interesting when um, as platforms evolve, when we take games to different platforms, kind of what happens to them, what happens to the social practices, right? The ways that we play games, whether it's ourselves or with each other. On the other hand, um, kind of going back to Jay's point, the word that I was going to use, since I will go ahead and take on the role of our resident Marxist, <laughs> um, was capitalism, <laughs> right? I, I think, so I, it, So on the one hand, like, yes, I have, it's it's, I'm hopeful in the ways that devs are taking mobile gaming in sort of positive directions. And on the other hand, there are lots of things that I feel, and I am not alone in this, I'm just rehashing other people's points of view, but there are a lot of pieces of software, right, that exist on phones and are marketed as games, but they are more, as Ian Bogos calls them, exploitationware than anything else. They have the trappings of games, right? They have the things that we think make games games, which are, I don't know, scoreboards and achievements and badges and, you know, things like that. But that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's really what makes a game a game, right? I mean, you can attach a scoreboard to anything. Um, so yeah, so I, I think on the other hand, there's a lot of exploitation that happens in mobile gaming, whether it's at the level of the developers or, um, at the level of the player, right, where where um, companies are trying to compel you to spend as much time on, on screen and on the game as possible, or, you know, do the, the sort of scummy things that you mentioned, Jay. So so again, I feel, I feel really mixed about it. And there have been some cases where a game hasn't even been born mobile, and yet when it's been taken in that direction, it's really, really been beautiful, right? I think of things like Knights of the Old Republic, like what a great interface to play that game on, right? The touch iPad interface. Um, I think about, uh, yeah, like the AR games like Pokemon Go and like Wizards Unite. And what is the the pre-Pokemon Go game? Ingress. Ingress, Ingress yeah. right? Yeah. Where, yeah, it seems like, you know, we really like found new ways to new places to take gaming. So yeah. So I feel really, really mixed about it. And, um, and there's more to say, but I don't want to say it right now. Cause I think it makes, it'll make a lot more sense when, after we actually play or once we actually start getting into stuff that was long. Anyway, uh, <laughs> can I offer you a, a beverage? Sure. I'm going that's, to that's oh, absolutely wow, look at that. oh, I'm slide that this over. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that was, that was, was slick. Y'all weren't yeah, expecting that. that. that <laughs> Enjoy. That one's free. This is going to be a redeem in the future. So <laughs> yeah, right. enjoy, the, uh, enjoy I, the free one. Uh, uh, Profe, I think you I think you got bingo all by yourself, but just on that. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, Bogost came up. <laughs> got, right, yeah, yeah, Marxism. Uh, Marxism. Right, oh yeah. my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, yeah, so like all of these points, so like even though I create content around a mobile game, of course, as also a professor, <laughs> I have lots of things that I think about it. And you know what's interesting is that, so on Netflix, I think it was on Netflix that I watched this, there is like this docu-series about gaming. And so one of the things that um, in particular, when I was watching it over break, was thinking about arcades. And so like the creation of the console and how that changed the ways when we're thinking about like arcades as places where people go and you hang out and you like compete or you have like this sort of like in terms of we're talking about social elements here, but um, also thinking about how the console changed that. And then now we have this like accessibility thing where 
lots of people have smartphones and then you have these things that are put in your hands. But of course, as I mean, I was just ranting about this earlier in the car today, like I get so frustrated when things get corrupted. And so I feel like that's kind of uh, where a lot of my personal frustrations go. But as we we're going to sample three different games and uh, I guess we can also continue this conversation about the kinds of things that, uh, how we would describe it, or the question I was initially gonna ask y'all was what value do you find? So yes, we can talk about all of the the bad, but like, is there any value? Um, and then I have a closing question once we we talk oh. and think about this more. Uh, You're prepping for there. a classic. Yeah. That's a, such a good planner. <laughs> I really mean, prof. Lynette. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> prof. Lynette, indeed. <laughs> so as y'all also in the chat, because so, I feel like lots of y'all. I'll, I'll talk about briefly my mobile gaming experience before location-based games. Um, that I started getting into, I played Best Fiends like a wild person, kind of like Sweater Wolf <laughs> was saying, like mindless stuff. And it's just like, I just do it over and over and over. And I would, I took it off my phone so that I would only play it on my iPad. So it'd be like at home, I'm playing on my iPad, like going, falling asleep or something like that. But I don't turn to mobile gaming like, oh, what's the next new mobile game? Um, mm -hmm. And at, we can continue the discussion as we look at the games, but I'm also interested in like the ways that it'll evolve. Like Apple Arcade, I have an iPhone, I keep getting ads for it. And I'm like, I don't know, like, is it worth it? Like, what is the experience like? Or how are these monetization structures evolving also <laughs> as we, I think Prof, you talking about capitalism and the ways that things are exploitative is not disconnected from the entire social, sociopolitical context that we live in with like, we would think about the rise of social media and these, kinds of uh, platforms that connect us and take from us, I guess. So enough rambling, let's get into <laughs> gaming, I guess. Because um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, we could talk forever. As, I'm excited. As you Who know. Us? <laughs> as you know. So um, the first game that we're gonna look at, it's actually not a game that I can change the title on on Twitch. So it's just gonna be just chatting until we games get to a game that we can yeah. select on Twitch. <laughs> but There is a game in demos category. I don't know if that's helpful oh. to you at all. But Okay, maybe we can do that then here. And demos. By the way, this uh, this broadcast is brought to everybody by Sh uh, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Log in now and get ten thousand free credit. <laughs> Use the promo code Marxism. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine? Anyway, so <laughs> I chose specifically multiplayer games that. I, I mean, in my minimal research of other kinds of games, because I don't play any of these games regularly that we're about to see today, but I force the profs to download these games and play with me. So we're going to start off with Escape Legends, uh, which actually I'm going to go back to our main screen because I might need to generate a share code. Um, who here has or and wants to play Escape Legends with me right now? Are you asking us or chat? Yeah, y'all three. <laughs> Uh, I have it. And I have it I'll, too. I'll yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll just go in the order of like, so Prof A, you'll be the first contender, then Sweater Wolf, then Jay. It's only oh, one wait, is one. it is just a one on one? I think it's just oh. one on one. We can try. I'll generate the code and share it with in our private chat, and then we can see. We have to get a bracket going and see if we can take <laughs> on them. And then it's, March, it's like March Madness. I'm glad our cameras were off during the countdown because I was just like straight Chris Pratt face for 30 seconds. I was like, Oh man, I was yeah, I was, was laughing at Jay just dancing. I think that should actually <laughs> be alive. Oh wait, our oh, cameras were not us. off. You could see us. <laughs> you could I see could us. Be. Roy, Roy, Roy. Oh yeah. Yeah, no I was, I was getting down to that jam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I shared the code in our private chat on here. Uh, Prof A, you're gonna go first. Yes. Uh okay. So I what do I do? Did you Battle? also have you tried this? I went through it. I've been tutorialized. Okay, okay. Play with a friend. Okay. It's okay. interesting. I wonder if, I mean, mobile games do indeed seem to be more oh, social wait, days. Oh my right? gosh. It's us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it was us. Sorry. Uh oh. Oh gosh. We're both like really go. Oh, Jesus. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Well, I mean, y'all can see my screen, what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> Which I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I need to like touch everything. <laughs> yeah, me neither, but I'm touching everything anyway. Go on, go on. Like, you know, you know, you've been here already, I guess. Cause I think that 
there's two sets of everything. Like you see stuff and I see stuff. Oh, uh, interesting. Oh, wait, what, what the? Oh, I thought this was. Oh, what the? Oh no, I can't. Wait, is there? Oh, oh my no. gosh! Wait, no. Oh, here we go. Oh wait, no, go go. Oh, is there You're two ahead. of everything? So You're we can like, yeah. steal from each other? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Although, what am I... Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, don't, look, you... don't look, don't look, don't <laughs> look. What have you done to me? <laughs> uh, oh, no, you're attacking. Oh, okay, so I will do this. Wait, do I need to find a car or something? Maybe I should... Oh, work? my God, you <laughs> killed me. You did... Oh, I'm frozen. <laughs> oh, no. Is this a uh, matching game? Well... Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Here I'm we not going to be able... Okay, coffee... Oh no, y'all. Why are there so many options? <laughs> okay, all oh, right, wait, no. okay. Where's the hat? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Wait. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Okay, there is a... Is it that one? I need a trigger oh, warning no, for this, this matching is, game. This is stressing <laughs> me out. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Oh. Huh? Where is it? Here. Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. I, think we're, I think we're both on the matching game right now. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, look, zip ties. <laughs> How do I get rid of this? Oh, I go. hate these games. Oh, oh uh, come on. Oh, no. All right. Oh, wait. No, I need to move like this. Like, free the... Yeah, free the... <laughs> and then... Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, wow. You are, like... You're definitely crushing me right now. Oh, I need to go through. Oh, what? No! <laughs> oh. Like how Profe is hanging his head in shame. Player 769, you did it. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw someone with, wait, you have a custom name. How do you have a custom name? I, it asked me if I wanted to change it. Oh, wait, 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 I'm not done yet. I need to escape, I need to actually escape the room. Oh God. Okay. All well, right. I do my party dance. Yeah, oh, I yeah. Can. Keep on dancing. I'm gonna I change my name. Oh, come on. Oops. So one of the things, the reason I found this game wow. is um, because, wait, is this Pine Studio? I'm in several Discord servers and I was just wow, like browsing. Actually, I think there's a different, I was looking, I'm looking for a good escape room. And so this one said it was multiplayer or like mm. PvP. So I was like, oh, I wonder what this is like. And so it's pretty simple. <laughs> like it's not, there's nothing really, except for like scrambling and trying to solve these little puzzles faster than the other. There wasn't really much to it. You want rematch, Profe? Uh, no, I, I think I'll let somebody else play. Okay. I'll take I'll take my L. I'll take my okay. L and keep keep it moving. Um, so while I was trying to figure out where to go to like put in the code, I somehow have like entered a match with a random person. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! And I, I like have no idea. I like I don't. I don't. I'm rooting for you. Uh, so, so, so Jay plays can go while I uh, yes, all right. try to defend my honor against this internet stranger who's doing <laughs> way better than me. Do it. I also feel bad that I've not been keeping up with the chat, so I'm going to catch up a little bit. So I will say um, something, I didn't say this in my intro, but something that mobile gaming reminds me of uh, with like the design and like the things that you get is kind of, is more along the lines of gambling. So like I have this treasure mm -hmm. chest and I'm kind of like, oh, hey, look, this is what I get. And now I can get a hair color, all these things. So part of like the, it's like repetitive. It's, there's not really much to this specific game, but it's like, oh, I can unlock certain things and roll the dice and get something cool. Okay, let me get it. Yeah, cool. you know, that's a that's a hot topic on, on loot boxes and stuff. I don't want to... I, yeah. I wanna, that's something we can dive into maybe a little bit later and stuff, but but certainly the loot box phenomenon and stuff is really fascinating and troubling. And stuff. Mm -hmm. How do I get out of this? Looking at you, EA. <laughs> okay, Dave. Uh, all right, let's see it. Let's see it. All right. Done. And you've been playing a lot of like the room and stuff, right? So yeah, you, like, yeah. you're <laughs> already kind of like cued in, cued into this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, I thought about. I really enjoy the room. It's a nice, like, I don't know, in terms of puzzles, but a little more like a, a higher level. Yeah, I thought the room was pretty well done. 
What is this? Do I do anything? No. I'm learning. I'm learning your play style now. Oh, I swear, I wasn't screen peeking before. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. Ugh. This backing out thing is screwing me up. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, yeah. It's not not pinched to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can actually. You can. Oh. Well. If you had never said that, see, I wouldn't have known. I didn't know. It didn't seem to be working for me, but. Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, I can't do that yet. What can I do? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Good block. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I know what this is. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait. I don't know what this is. This is like, I need to get to this position. Oh, shoot. Like chess. Oh wait. What? You I know how like you can go one. into the <laughs> what is this piece called again? The it's the horse one. Uh the rook. And you go in like oh, not the rook that night, sorry. The, and so you need oh wait, I think I'm just going in circles right now. Uh oh. Where is it? So if we're can you do the same thing as me? Like uh Prof A, you were talking about Oh, I think we're at the same puzzle or something. Yeah. Wait, how do well, because we... I heard you narrating, and I was also doing that one. And then failed. Oh, here we go. Oh. Still do not know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, I think I got it. Sweater Wolf, did, no! you, did no! you defeat your internet stranger? I did, yeah. Heck? I think they were maybe, like, not actively yeah. playing. Oh um, and that's how I won, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, I think I, 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 I snake you right at the end. Ah! No! <laughs> oh, right. I saved that power up and just like, I saw you I, running. I didn't it off. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> I, I thought that I had to wait for it to clear. Oh, look how sad I am. Wow. <laughs> galaxy, galaxy brain over here. Boom. <laughs> wow, that was good. Love it. Wow. I like uh, how it says, play again. Friend declined another match. Yeah, right <laughs> interested in Don't this worry, game. we'll rematch. We'll rematch. <laughs> That's cool. It's like a little collection of like little like mini games. Like Simon is in there. Uh -huh. um, a match. That little, yeah, it's cute. Like this is, uh, the other thing mobile games remind me a lot of are like, like kids games these are kind of games like you know my yes. my young kids i would you know they could play and stuff like that and sort of grok you know yeah. they don't get super deep so they can yeah. get it and play and stuff it's hilarious because i was looking at all of the you know it tells you like ages it's like all ages four and up nine and up like i i didn't try too hard to be like oh can i find one that's not a kid game but oh wait Oops. Yeah, I feel like you just have to tap on everything, man. Yeah. I mean, I just do it because of my OCD. <laughs> yeah, clear it. Clear it all. Yeah, otherwise, my brain is like, you're not done yet. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, okay. What is this? What? So this is like a weird puzzle where you have to, like, get all... Oh, no, I did it wrong. You have to get all the tiles. Just checking on the cat. Cleared. So you make a pathway. Oh, oh, okay. Like, um, oh, what's that? Looks like he's okay. There's a really great mobile game called. Mm, what's it called? Uh, uh, I can't remember. Not Flow, because that's another game. But there's a great game that's like that. You know, where you have to like <laughs> number of dots, and you have to connect them on the board. That's a fun. That's a fun. Uh, puzzle. You know, I, no. I don't play a fair number of puzzle games on mobile. Yeah. Can I get something. Oh, here we go. Nice. Uh, oh, oh. The circly so puzzle. So uh -oh. There are a okay. bunch of these okay. in God of War. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> I'm just like spam tapping my screen. No. The other thing we need is like a camera just for your hands, just so we can. Watch I know, just, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Her strategy is spam tap the whole thing. <laughs> I'm just like, I need every donut. Oh my god. Same sweater. Same. Yes. Oh, yeah. Exactly. 
That's how I live my life. <laughs> um, yeah, so the other thing with this game, because so like in terms of thinking like, okay, so that's the game, but like how do they make money? That's always mm -hmm. like the, the question. I don't, I don't fully know, but of course you can see like the classic coins and gems. Um, which there never are... break out to the right amount. Notice that you could right, buy yeah. 80, 80 gems, but things uh -huh. cost multiples of like 50s. Mm. So now you have to buy two sets of gems in order to get 100, right? So you're not going to... Yeah. yeah. There was, Scammy. Was it this game? I feel like that way about a lot of food products at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then there's like other things where you like you because you can because part of it is not just like you just pay to play the game but it's like you're, there's all that's like where the box thing comes in like when you get a treasure chest you get a chance to get a fragment of one of these things or mm. you, can, you know but there's also like the gold stuff involved there's something else I don't remember if it was this game or a different game it is this <laughs> game. okay. So I don't know if y'all have ever seen games like this where you pay for you pay to unlock more rewards. <laughs> so you can see oh my gosh. the top line is like what everyone ah. has. But if I I can buy elite rewards. Yes. So um, Hogwarts Mystery is a game that does that introduced this where you can you can earn rewards faster than like what is the standard for everyone. So um, and I I don't yeah. I mean, I try, especially with these like free to play games because they can be such a trap <laughs> to not uh, pay money unless I think it's worth it. Cause it's really easy to just get, get trapped by the like, oh, 99 cents here or there, there, or whatever. And then it ends up being $200,000. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody mentioned in the little chat, Jimmy. right? Who was that? This was a little, was, was this was pretty, pretty close to the top. Yeah. Timmy spent two hundred thousand dollars. It is, um, yeah, you know, and and so have you? Have you ever spent uh, money on on games, even free to play games? I have. So I I would say I probably have spent more in my life. Well, not just because Pokemon Go has existed longer, but I've spent more on Pokemon Go than Wizards Unite. Mm -hmm. And I think. If I'm reflecting back on it, part of it is like, oh, here, like twenty dollars here, twenty dollars there, whatever. Um, I like the game, I enjoy the game. Right. I don't mind paying like twenty bucks every couple months to play this game. And then, yeah. I don't know, because part of it, like with those sorts of games, is that they have events, and so that's kind of where, like, sorry, I just shut off the music. It was kind of annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, 50 cents there to shut off yeah, the music. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have to listen to this. Music. It's automatically charged to your Apple Pay. But, yeah, that, that's for me. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, about, about y'all. Yeah, I spent I spent money on Pokemon Go. That's definitely the game I spent the most on. I was justifying it to myself as like, this is my dissertation research, and I'm just funding it by myself with my own money. <laughs> uh, but you know, <laughs> in in, in, oh, in retrospect. Uh, you know, I feel the same way. Like, I don't regret spending money on it. I definitely, like, got my hours worth of enjoyment. And I think something like Pokemon Go, it feels less predatory. Like, something that is more um, loot boxy, like, random. Like, we were, you were just saying, uh, Wizard, like, you know, spending money for opportunities to, like, you know, unlock, like, other things. Like, that's very, like, that Skinner boxy gambling, you know, just, like, designed to, like, make you push. The, like, you are the rat pushing the button. Mm -hmm. uh, something like Pokemon Go, it's, like, because it's not randomized and you generally know exactly what you're getting, it's, like, I'm buying tools that I need for this game so that I can enjoy it, right? Like I'm in, I'm buying a specific thing to use in another part of the game. And it's like a very one-to-one, -one, like I need this Pokeball, I need this Raid Pass, you know, whatever, um, because I want to play the game. So to me, like, I don't mind as much spending money if I don't feel like it's being predatory, right? Like if it's not trying to like, just get me addicted to buying the loot boxes every day. Hmm. I feel like uh, we may have actually had a lot of this conversation now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, when we played Genshin in Impact, right? We were oh, talking yeah, about yeah. loot boxes and stuff. So uh, if you watch that stream, you're going to get hopefully the same answers. Now you can go back and see if we're <laughs> intellectually consistent or not. Uh, don't, uh, don't check. So, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, th that VOD is gone, so don't worry. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with Prof Lynette that, you know, there have been a couple games that I've pitched in some money because I like playing them a little bit, you know, the... Star Trek Online. It's not. It's not a mobile game, obviously, but a free-to-play game. 
but you know, I've played a couple hundred hours in there and I've spent, you know, 40, $60, something like that total. I've gotten my money's worth out of that game and they've entertained me enough for, for me to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll buy the Wrath of Khan out of it or whatever. Um, but you know, th- again, that, that's the thing I, I, I caught on very early on, um, that, you know, those games were using that, that Skinner box, that, 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 I mean, really, frankly, it's, it's, you know, comes from the gambling world, right? This dopamine, you know, that like they've got this timing down so precisely there, there's tons of measurements and they know exactly how quickly to offer you rewards. There's reason there's a one hour and 45 minute cool down, you know, on something because they know that's a trigger for so many people and stuff like that. So, you know, I, when we get into that discussion about predatory behavior, you know, again, as someone who's, who's spent a lot of time reading about thinking about playing games and stuff like that. I caught on right away and, and, and I'm someone who I could see myself getting really sucked into that. Uh, and also at the time I was really broke. I mean, not that I'm not really broke now, but I was really broke then. And I didn't want to spend any money then either. Uh, yeah. so yeah, but you know, I, I, I do think, you know, if there are games you really like, I don't think there's anything wrong with, it. um, but like all things, you know, moderation and stuff like that. I mean, I'm looking in their, their shop here and, you know, you could buy a hundred dollars worth of gems if you really wanted to, it's 14,000 gems. That's a great deal. Yeah. If, you, if you do the math. But holy crap, 100 bucks on this game? Well, part of the issue is that there's never a ceiling. The ceiling is right. like infinite. So, and mm-hmm. it's hard to keep track of that. So, like, uh, we've talked about this before with other games about like uh, entertainment value. And, like, as someone who like thinks about math, like, it's really difficult to quantify things like, uh, you know, value, especially because it you, you could use different kinds of metrics as proxies. Like, amount of hours played, which seems appropriate, like for the game that you just mentioned, like you have like a a certain kind of experience, but a hundred hours played in Harry Potter Wizards Unite is a bunch of mindlessness, you know, (laughs) exactly the equivalent of like me playing um, a game on PC. It's like a different kind of experience. Now, on the other hand, if we weren't in pandemic days, like the social elements of having people in a location-based game arena where it's like your whole world, your local community, like that to me um, is a real selling point for Niantic games specifically because I'm most familiar with them. But I think, and just thinking about what they're dealing with now, it's certainly a challenge to figure out, okay, so now what do we do with this game? Uh, And full disclosure, uh, I when I play Star Trek Online, I'm just farting around too. That's wasted out. Like, <laughs> running around on Earth in my Wrath of Khan pretending I'm in Star Trek. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever paid in like for an in-app purchase mm-hmm. in a mobile game. But on the other hand, I am... So I'm more inclined to pay upfront for a game that is not free, right? And enter mm-hmm. into that kind of transaction mm-hmm. right that kind of transactional relationship or that kind of commerce based relationship with a developer i'm much more inclined to do that than i am to pay for something in game right i think there was the thing that really gets to me is like the pay to win type stuff where like i don't know like i feel like as as gamers like part of part of the reason why people play is to like get good at a game right to develop you know skill and, and triumph and feel good right about how you know, that, that that you've learned that the thing has taught you that you've you know um, acquired skills and applied them and all that kind of stuff. You know, even if it's like virtual stuff, but um, but yeah, the the pay to win stuff really really grinds on me a lot. Um, and I think so. So yeah, so I'm I'm more inclined to um to pay upfront. And so I, I brought up in the Discord, I brought up Kingdom Rush, and that is an example of a game I will always pay full price for when a, a new Kingdom Rush game comes out because I really enjoy it. Um, I think the devs put out you know good, creative, fun, interesting games. There is like in-app stuff that you can buy but kingdom rush has never felt like i needed to buy something to win you can pay money to maybe make something easier right you can unlock Mm -hmm. a hero you know or or whatever but it's never felt i've never felt manipulated right to the point where like i need to do this to be successful in the game um yeah 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 so so i've yeah yeah i've done that and i will do you know i would do that in the future you know for games that come out that i'd be that i'm interested in but, um, yeah. but yeah, much more inclined to do that than, um, than pay anything in game. Just, you know, personally. Interesting. I want to yeah. bring up, um, fisticuff in the, the, hey, fisticuff, uh, in, <laughs> hey. in, uh, in, not fisticuffs. <laughs> like I always say, every single time. Fisticuff Jones, hello. Uh, brings up this idea of, of like the difference between, I think this is, is fascinating and we're having a, a pretty good chat, uh, going yeah. on here, but, but like what the difference between 
random stuff like Magic the Gathering or whatever. I mean, Pokemon were physical cards before they were digital or yeah. they were the same, but any of those, I guess, physical tr you know, uh, trading card games um, versus something like a loot box and Hearthstone. And, and um, yeah, it, it's true. They do feel a little different. Yeah. Um, and so I, I do, I do wonder, um, Spooky brings up the idea that, you know, I, I, and this is actually really interesting that you could, you make like a separate game out of collecting those things, right? Well, I don't need that. I have a second, I don't know, fire elemental card, but you know, my, my buddy who I play with needs it. So maybe we can make a trade uh, and it becomes this whole other thing too. Whereas these yeah. digital things are so impermanent and so inconsequential maybe that, that they, when you get them, you don't feel as rewarded maybe. I don't know. Well, there are variations cool. also, like, um, do loot boxes, or like, I guess, like, in terms of categorization, mm -hmm. do you need to post the odds of a particular thing? We kind of talked about this briefly in, with Genshin, but, like, mm -hmm. for Pokemon Go, they do not, and even for Wizards Unite, they do not post those uh, specific metrics for, like, chances or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, versus like if, a, if any sort of mystery thing, like I have mystery ornaments that are Harry Potter and it tells you like one out of 20 or one out of 70 or whatever. Yeah. Um, so at least, but I do think that the point about it, the physical, the materialness of something, and I don't know if this is just because like my relationship with digital stuff, not it's not at like that it's not real, but I can't see I can't see it. I can't see behind the scenes. What if they like tweak the odds like really bad? Like, or, you know, like it just seems such a black box mystery. And I don't know what it is about it. Cause it's not like I know what, what things are if they're wrapped up in a physical sleeve of cards, you know, but mm -hmm. it's something about it feels different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I wonder if part of it is the trading, you know, like, like I'm thinking of like, so I got really into the animal crossing amiibo cards when they came oh, out, which is like a couple of years ago. Um, and you know, I, they're, you know, exactly what you think, like little blind bags of cards. And I have like, so like, it's a ridiculous number of them that I have in my home. Uh, and a lot of them are duplicates, but like at the time I was trading them with people. Uh, and now that, you know, animal crossing, when it got popular last year, um, uh, my friends that were playing, I just gave them a bunch of duplicate cards so they could like, you know, get characters they wanted in their game. Um, whereas, you know, I never got much into pocket camp. I should probably try it again, Animal Crossing pocket camp, because I, I heard it got really good, but like, I never spent inclined to like spend money in that game, but then the cards, which would probably cost more, right? Like I saw they were coming out with new ones and I'm like, oh, I gotta buy more of those, you know, even though it's like most of them are like just sitting in a pile because they're all duplicates, but um, I can see that pile and I'm like, look, I got these and I could like, potentially trade these all one day, even though I won't. <laughs> you know, you won't, they'll be like four. <laughs> and you know, I mean, this this is the kind of conversation that certainly extends way beyond games. I mean, thing, you know, when we buy digital things, we no longer have, mm -hmm. you know, that, that you know, so, mm -hmm. hey, I got a book on my desk and I can read it. Oh, hey, it's Jim G's book, The Anti-Education Era, which I've been yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally, it was the book right in front of me. I was quoting it earlier today, so big surprise. Hey, Jim, um, but you know, like, <laughs> Uh, there, there is research that says even in things like books, um, you know, people have harder time um, mm -hmm. remembering things, connecting to things because in some of the, the evidence suggests that because we make a little mental map, right? I know mm -hmm. when I'm reading this book, it was right around here, you know, it's right around the first third or something. And there's this physical yeah. kind of reminder of that thing. Whereas in, a, in an ebook or something, you know, it just sort of, I don't know, I flip through it and it's there. Yeah. And, and so that like, the the mind actually needs that physical object as sort of like a placeholder for for memory and for other things and stuff like that. I think these digital things are certainly changing how we approach those things. Like I haven't bought an album in forever. And one of my favorite things about buying music was like checking the light, the sleeve notes and reading yeah. through it and holding the thing, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, vinyl is having a big comeback and whatever, but um, <laughs> you know, that, that, that physicality is turns out is actually still really important. So my question then for you all and for, for chat too, um, what about games that are have both, like Settlers of Catan or something like that? There's a physical and a digital version of them. They're very or Ticket to Ride or or other games where they have like a really like almost one to one kind of um, model digitally and physically and stuff like that. Do you have you played those and have you do you feel different about your play even of those things? Because that could be kind of an interesting little experiment. Hmm. What's interesting is that Niantic's next title is actually uh, Catan World Explorers. So oh, cool. it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, but as as chat and maybe y'all profs are also thinking about Jay's post question, let's check out the next game, which I haven't. This is like my yeah, first like introduction to this. Um, and 
Yeah, yeah I, it's called Sky, Children of the Light. Actually, I didn't check to see. Is this? Well, I can just leave it on games and demos. It'll be fine. Um, but this is something that I'm, when I, re, when I, it was recommended to me a while back. And then when I learned that there was a multiplayer element, I was like, yes, let's check it out, all of us. Mm -hmm. So let's switch it over. Boot it I forgot how to join your, you sent the friend thing to us and I, I never clicked on it. Oh, okay. Oh, is it the same? I can just use the same code for, or the same invite from yesterday, right? I hope. Oh, you've already got it loaded up. Look at you. Yeah, do I need to do it? See, I yeah, really I don't know how to do this. How do, I, uh, how do I connect with people? Do I need to like get through the tutorial before I get that menu? Because that actually yeah. I want to say yes. I think I got to like the hub world yesterday. Because okay. I don't have a menu. <laughs> I don't have a menu or anything. So hold on. Do I have? Like, I, a I think I'm close. I'm really close. List? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's my that's my constant Samsung. <laughs> I'll just try to figure out how to connect to each other in multiplayer. <laughs> this, is, this is us approaching a new game. How do I do this? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You have a menu? Yeah. Right, so yeah you, exactly. Oh, cafe is online. It says that. Mm. Okay, so you tap like in the top right corner, and it pops up. Hold on, I'm just having a blast flying. That's really great. Oh wait, this friend invite's already that's redeemed. Cool. Oh, we're already friends. How do we get to the same spot? Um. There. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Invite. Um. Oh yeah. I'm in. I'm in my hub, but it, I think it's a little different than your. Okay. Hub? Hold Question on. Mark? I, don't know. Uh, I don't see anybody else here. I'm like looking around. Oh. I okay. Anybody. I just kneeled down. Uh, uh, Have you gone through your tutorial yet, Prof Lynette? I tapped through a video. Oh, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> So it's maybe happening. not. Unless this is not you, is no. This this person is just leaving. <laughs> uh, Jay plays games accepted. So should I just like go into? Yeah, I see this. Oh, look at me on the ice. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm also. I mean, uh, Sweater Wolf. You played Among Us on mobile. Like I, <laughs> I don't really play games that have this sort of like where your movement is your finger or whatever. Oh. So I don't. I don't have much experience with. I mean, I regretted playing it on mobile so much. <laughs> I'm still, like, not really a fan. Um, but it looks like... Oh, there's different camera. There's a one-handed mode, two-handed mode, flip sides. Oh, interesting. <laughs> one, so you can chug your beverage one-handed mode. Oh, I I just, uh, is this a tutorial, Profe? I just lit up some candles. Oh, uh, Did you? Oh, wait. It this? looks like you're in a hub world, too. Why yeah. can't, I wonder where you are. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe we can't see each other in the hub and we actually have to go to like a world world. Let's see if I can get to that hub. Because I think oh, I'm where I'm looking, I'm screen peeking and it looks like we're yeah. like supposed like to be it. near each other, but. Like yeah, a, do all our hub uh, things hub look world. the same? I don't know. What if we go somewhere? What if like I say like, why don't you, can we yeah. meet up in Isle of Dawn? So it's, Are, if it, is it one of these things? No, it's like, um. No. It's one of those doorways. Hmm, some old bearded guys talking. Go. Oh, I have stamina. I'm like, I can sprint. Can I jump in the water? It's like oh, no, I don't use it on my, on my eyes. Well, I can swim. Oh, man, this is a lot. I like it, but. Cool. Oh, wait, is that my audio? My this game is not game? you, is it? This is. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, so it said I was online. Is it is it telling you anything else about me or? I can swim. Uh, let's see. This is a menu question mark. No, these expressions communicate with other players. I can point. Oh, there's someone else here, but. No, that's <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, King Bound said something I want to respond to really quickly. So yeah, uh, yeah. PC games used to come in nice boxes that had physical aspect. Maybe digital mm. board games would come with something like that. You know, there's actually this this uh, this company and and like indie game developers and stuff have partnered with them and stuff to actually make boxes for their games that have only ever been distributed digitally, but that you can actually mm -hmm. buy a box for. I'm going to throw it. I don't think this is actually a game, but you could buy a box for Journey, for example. Oh, you could actually buy that physical. Let me, <laughs> I got that game company on my head. Um, I could buy a box for, uh, for FTL, right? Um, FTL was never sold um, as a physical version. It was only digital download only. But but I think for that very thing that you can actually, so people want that thing on their shelf. They want that little reminder and stuff like that. And so it's really interesting that there actually is a company that partners with developers who never sell their product physically to actually make a physical product because people want it. And it's really weird. That's cool. Yeah. 
Wait, how do I move in this game? <laughs> uh, it's like a I'm virtual like, controller. Uh, you've got to like, uh, you gotta hold, like tap, uh, hold with your thumb and then move it up and down. Drag so. left to move. Okay. Return shrine allows got you to it. leave home and re resume your journey. Oh. Some I bell rings. It's that. a journey. It's a journey. Isle of Dawn is what I'm, this says. All right. How do I get? I'm going to. Oh, is this some Kneel something? and pray. Oh, Oh boy, something is happening. Oh, someone's giving me a heart candle. That's nice. No, I've been here. All right. Social. No. Yeah, I like the design of it. I like how it feels. I like the music. I like, mm -hmm. you know. I'm just, I'm so lonely. Where are you? I want to. No, I don't even know how to get to this, this, this fabled hub world. I don't even know how to get there. I'm like in the game and I'm just playing the game. I don't know how y'all got there. Uh, when I exited the game and went back in, it, that's how I got oh, to the hub. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try that. But now, but then I just I went back into like the game game, which oh. I think Earl also just did. I'm having a blast. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Are these candles? Whoa, cool? holy cow! This is cool. Yeah, uh, it is. Cool. When, there's this big cloud, and I'm gonna hold mine up. <laughs> Not that you can see it. So. <laughs> Wait, you, oh yeah, because you can fly. Yeah, I'm a little ahead of you, I think. Uh, but wow, that is that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm. I don't know where I am. When lost, tap on yourself to call. Your light will reveal the path. That's beautiful. I know. Every mm -hmm. time I'm like, what a poetic tutorial instruction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go fly somewhere and hope I oh, find you. Oh, I'm at the same place you are, Jay. I'm like flying through a cloud right now. Like these big cumulus clouds and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you, cool. did, did that bearded guy just talk to you? Oh, no, but I'm going to like a castle thing. Maybe I'm at a different point than you. Oh, dang. Whatever's happening right now is super cool. Okay. By the end of this, we're going to find each other. <laughs> That's the goal. I'm going to try closing it out. And I'm oh, no. Enter. I jumped, but I can't fly. I just fell. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you've got to finish Isle of Dawn to like get, your, to to then, yeah. get your wings. Oh, I'm getting a little. You have to pick which Dawn you're going to date in the dating sim. <laughs> I'm mean, losing altitude, and I don't feel good. Oh, there we go. Oh, it gave me daily inspiration. The best and most beautiful thing in the world must be felt with the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, our next level. Okay, I'm going to fly with y'all at some point. What? Oh, wait, that's back to the where I came from. Okay. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finding each other and flying together. Yeah, I am, I am on the hub world, so... Can I interact with them? Oh. I don't know why I've just... Um, gone into this dark and scary area. They're giving each other light. I want to. I want to give someone light. <laughs> I'm just like running up to them. I think I'm actually being super aggro, but I'm trying to help. Them. <laughs> take my light. Damn it! Take my light. <laughs> oh, oh, little heart candles. I like how when you light a candle, it like uh, turns into a. Oh. Person. Oh, we're like working together with these. Oh. I do not know where I am. Oh my goodness, I landed somewhere, okay. Oh, maybe I can, if I climb this, I can fly off the okay, top. Okay, I don't know where I am. Oh, there's all kinds of upgrades and stuff. You can upgrade your character on this home hub. That's a good point. Um, or Jeffrey, focus level. This is definitely a higher focus game. I know, I'm, I feel like my head is just down the whole time, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> agreed, agreed. Well, that skate mechanic is pretty cool. It is cool, man. I was getting into it last night. Oh, I can't get in here, can't I? Can I? Oh no. Okay. I don't think I can jump from here. It's, this it's elder's constellation has lost its light. I do wish there was like a quick find your homies button. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there's a home button. Hmm. Wait, oh, where's the, the home guy button? talking to me now? So I think I'm a. a well, little I think. Are you already home? The dude with the big beard. Or? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, just that next spot. Oh, wow. I don't know where you are. Oh, no, you're in Isle of Dawn. I'm in you're Isle of Dawn. Yeah. yeah, you're in the tutorial. That's cool. Oh, I just made some. Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try nice. going home. Leave your current save point and return home. Yes. I'm going to try going to Isle of Dawn, see if I can find you. Oh, okay. No, I'm hearing I love Dawn, too. Now it's I know. <laughs> <laughs> we love Dawn, okay. <laughs> Dawn, if you're on chat, we love you so much. <laughs> Oh, I got I got these guys all into their colored robes and stuff. Nice. Okay, right I'm going to. You must complete your adventure before you can return here. Oh, <gasps> you have an adventure already. What's your adventure? I don't know. 
my personal <laughs> adventure is find my friends. But... <laughs> oh, I'm in Daylight Prairie is where I am. Ooh. We love Prairie, too. Or, Jeffrey, maybe we can find each other. Because <laughs> I can't find anybody else. It's a little sad. Yeah. I'm a little sad. How do you do? Oh, now I'm flying through the cool clouds. Isn't that that's yeah, that's gorgeous. Neat. That's super gorgeous. Um, ooh, you can chat. Yeah. Hello. Like I said, the Discord server that when I joined yesterday, it was popping with people. They're all mm. posting their their bios. That's cool. Okay. Is all right. Great? I guess I'll complete my adventure Hello? before I can return home, or before I go to Isle of Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> I just want my friends. <laughs> I'm so oh, okay. All right. I think that's one of the other things that that has really like turned me off to mobile games. I, I just don't like the interface, the control. Your hand is in the way, yeah, yeah. you know, mm. like, of, you know, covers the screen and it's really finicky. Pinch to turn and close and stuff doesn't totally work right. I don't know. I want to, again, it's, I, I kind of want like a physical controller. In fact, I was looking up, <clears throat> you'll have to forgive me because I was going to try to to cheese a little bit. I was looking up to see if you could use a Bluetooth <laughs> controller for Mario. <laughs> oh my gosh, you were gonna. You cannot, you can't. I know, that I totally is, was. That is deep cheese. That is so I know, funny. I know. I mean, you know, if it's a legitimate, you know, play, I don't know, I didn't have to hack it or, or uh, jailbreak my, you can't use it apparently, but the, you know, it was a thing. Some games allow Bluetooth, blue, blue, uh, Bluetooth controller support. Yeah, that's hard to say. Bubba Bluetooth? Bubba Bluetooth. Bubba Bluetooth. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be following this path, but I don't want to leave if Profe is coming over here. No, 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 just do your thing. I think you have to finish your tutorial. Do I need to get all these little things, or can I go straight to the end point? <laughs> those, like, butterflies? Yeah. So those butterflies will just recharge your wing, but it looks like you're full. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so just go where you, go wherever you want to go, because it looks like you're all set with I'm your gonna, charge. I'm going to light all these candles. What's this? Oh, I can be real close to my character. You and Fistica, very simpatico. What, even, what do I look like? Scheme. Oh, this is what I look like. I never mm -hmm. looked like. Oh, I unlocked another elder, my homies. All my yeah, homies Fistica, totally. When you when your hand like your thumb is over a quarter of the screen or something, it's just silly. Well, part of yeah. me is like, am I doing this right? Like, is there a right way to do this? Because I, I don't know how to do it. Because I my my finger actually keeps moving towards the middle of the screen. Then I'm like, oh, wait, no. Go back to the side. Oh, that's what I was doing for Mario Kart. I kept on covering well, everything not, with my... This has got to be a non... This can't be a computer player. There's someone like up in the middle of the air just kind of fart around. And I think it's like Journey. I think it's like there are... And yeah. I, and like it, helping people at like small intervals, right? Because there's a person on the hub where, because I'm just chilling on the hub, mm. and uh, there's a person just kind of like floating around, but not in an NPC kind of way. <laughs> so I wonder if, you know, like, it's the Turing test. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, doing a very human thing. Like, you know, like when people are waiting to go into a dungeon and, and then like a, a wow or something, and they just do jump, like bunny jumping around, waiting and stuff. I'm mm. doing something like that. That's the new yeah. captcha, I think, instead of having to identify <laughs> across <laughs> like, <laughs> outside. Uh, have you had to do the ones where you have to like rotate the pictures? No, you know, like, like right up. side this sheep, and you have to like turn it the right way and stuff. I would like give up on whatever I was trying to do if they're making <laughs> all those kind of puzzles. The crosswalk too much, hard That's enough, man. Right? Rook to queen six. Uh, no, oh god. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned about like the mobile game, and so like if you're turned off by like mobile game controls, you'll be excited to know if you're interested in this game. It is coming to the Switch in spring hmm. 2021. So that was something that I learned from their website. Um, even though. It's a cool looking game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do want to keep playing it. I'm a little frustrated that we can't figure out how to find each other. I'm at Daylight Prairie, so I think I've been just a whole different. <laughs> I'm going to try to, uh, oh, we're, we may not be friends because I don't think it's like mutual friends, right? We'd all be friends with oh, right, that, but not necessarily with each other. Mm. I was gonna say well, since since I was at a place where sweater you were close to, I could hop in and we see if we we can find each other. But I don't think mm, it, works out. Mm -hmm. it doesn't work that way. I'm on daylight prairie now too. 
Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I stopped playing. I'm just, oh, I wonder uh, if we can. I don't know how to find how do each I, other. Profe, help me. How do I? What do I do with this person? I uh, just run, mind. run through those holograms. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the story. <laughs> I'm here to smurf. Got to clip that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he knows. He knows. <laughs> um, I, will say, oh, I will say about Apple Arcade. So one of the things about it is that um, all I don't know if it's all, but like pretty much all the games are compatible to play on an Apple TV. Um, mm. Meaning that you can actually use a Bluetooth controller. So we mm. have like a controller paired to the Apple TV. Um, I, I like that's good in theory, and I like never actually play Apple Arcade games <laughs> on the on the TV. But you know that could be a good way to experience them. I guess I don't know. I kind of like to play things whatever like the native controls are intended to be. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, the only thing I saw when I was looking at Apple Arcade was the. No ads. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like that to me is appealing. I mean, I hate ads in general, but um, I, I get how it is part of some monetization structures. But um, yeah, I was trying to think like, is there a game that I would pay a monthly subscription for? And I think because I don't play enough mobile games, that it just didn't seem like, um, I don't know. It just didn't seem like something I'd be like, yeah, let me just tack on another subscription service to all my other subscription yeah, services that I have. Over, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. I just rang a bell. Uh, that, uh, there is a game. I think it's still on Apple play though. That's very good. I think it's on other platforms now too, but, uh, Sayonara wild hearts. Very good. Oh yeah, yeah. That's on there. Yeah. And that's the thing, like speaking of other platforms, that was actually the appeal for me more than the originals is there's games on there that like, I would almost spend like, you know, $10, $20 for their like mm -hmm. indie games that are on there. Um, although you're playing it on mobile. So <laughs> depending yeah. on how you feel that experience. Yeah. yeah. I just uh, grabbed I've, Sayonara on PS4. That's a good game. Yeah, I actually uh, haven't played you, it. You know, I've tried playing, another thing that I've attempted to play is um, a bunch of sort of last gen, and Fisk sort of mentioned this, this, this game looks better than PS3 games. You know, a bunch of like last <laughs> gen or now two gen, you know, uh, ago games and stuff come out uh, on like iPad and stuff. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic and the like Grand Theft Auto, like San Andreas, I think is on there. Vice City is on there. So I, I've tried picking those up and playing those on mobile thinking, oh, that, that'd be kind of cool. And now I can just carry it with me in my pocket and stuff. And it, mm. again, it's the it's the interface that just, I can't mm -hmm. play Grand Theft Auto with my thumb, you know, like <laughs> fart around. I don't know. Mm. It's not precise enough and it, and it interferes and stuff. I just struggle with that. I find it that fatiguing. Element. I think that's my main thing is like, I feel like it, my hand and wrist feels tired as yeah, I play. Yeah. Like even this, I'm like, the flying feels really good, but I'm like, I don't know, like my hand is. I just ugh. want to control yeah. it. I want to thumb yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it does get uncomfortable. I so I see other players on my screen. I just don't see my friends. I gave up playing. I'm just going to walk. All right. I think I'm nearing the end of this tutorial if I'm reading this right. I don't know. I have a wave. I have a butterfly. But yeah, I see other players here. So I almost want to just like sit here and wait for Sweater Wolf to show up. Where are you? Will it tell you though? You wouldn't. You wouldn't necessarily I, know. I if don't it's know. Her, maybe right? should, I mean, maybe should send you another. I should send you a friend thing. Yeah, because I think you'd want to be friends with each oh, other. Oh, okay. Okay. So invite. S create friend invite. To invite a close friend. To play and chat immediately, please first assign them a nickname of your choice. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I had to assign oh, a nickname for all of y'all. I just used your usernames, but I was like, oh, okay. Although I think that's what pops up when they're near. That's how I knew my other friend was. When I opened the game, she was there. I don't know how that happened. But... Yeah, I saw that too. And I was like, oh, how did you? That seems good. Maybe I'll ask her. I'm like, is there a trick to like find each other fast? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am hopping out of the game super quick, just so I can send sweater a thing. What are you sending it to me on? Uh, on Discord. Okay. Cool. I oh, it, it'll it'll just be like a scan thing. I suppose. Here's a link for you. Okay. I don't know if you have Discord mobile, but I just. Oh, that's what I'll do. Okay, yeah. Maybe. Like, how am I gonna open it? Yeah, it'll just take you, it'll be like, open an app and it'll just link it.
They're just showing me a QR code though. Oh, it's not like letting you click. Oh, wait, 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 I get it. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. I didn't, so I didn't do it right for um, Prof Lynette either. Okay. There oh, Sweater accepted my invite. Okay. What? What oh, I see, I think I see you. There was like <gasps> something flashing that wasn't flashing before. Oh my gosh, we did it. I'm flying toward maybe you or maybe just a story point. I have no idea, <laughs> it's directing me to something. <laughs> I'm at the first, like the first story point of uh, the prairie level. Okay, there is someone here, but it doesn't look like you. Oh, no, this is a uh... shoot. That was Prof. Lennart, this is that part that I was, I was blown away by where you fly through oh. these big cumulus clouds. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this where I'm going to do? Or I'm going to fly? Yeah, you're just, yeah. Hey. What's this? Like random, random things on the ground. The spirit will wait for you at the elder's temple. Uh, okay, so I have constellations. Okay. Oh, I have to go back now? Okay, anyway, I'm just going to keep on wandering and hopefully we run into each other, but there's got to be a better... I feel like, yeah, there's got to be a way to like see each other now. There's a creature or something. Oh, hey, oh, sweater roll. We're friends. Oh, did you find each other? No, I just, I didn't, I realized I didn't oh. do our, the invite right that Wizard about, sent me. I was about to become very jealous. Tap the button. My head is like 100% down for this entire stream. I know. <laughs> Look at my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, you're flying in the clouds. Cool. I know. I was like, oh, I'm wow. lost in the clouds. <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's going down. I want to go up. Whoa, there's like a there's like a stingray, like a flying stingray thing. Wait, am I? Oh, I see that too. Wait, are we watching the same like little cutscene thing now? <gasps> I see the stingray. There's like a little stingray outline and it's like pulsing out. Cool, cool light, I guess. Wait, this isn't you, right? You don't you don't have a sweet death mask, do you? No, <laughs> I like <laughs> death mask. <laughs> somebody, somebody with like a like a plague doctor mask is like near me. Oops, that one. <gasps> I see sweater. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. oh my goodness. What, what adventures are y'all gonna go on? I don't know. It just labeled it just labeled sweater. I have to find her. This is my main, my main quest. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. So this is pretty much where I stopped. Let me see if I can okay, find. There we go. There we go. Like right there, when I got to the title screen, basically is where I stopped. So let me go go back in, and I'll see if we can find each other. All right, now that I'm done with the tutorial, <laughs> I'm, ready. Ready. I'm ready. All right, let's see. I might just be right behind you. Then. Oh man, this is oh dawn. I love it's right dawn. behind you. <laughs> <gasps> Wait. Wait. I found you! Oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man, this is big. I'm gonna offer. What can I do? Oh wait, what is this? I don't know. I'm trying to accept it. Oh oh. Did it work or did I break it? Maybe I have to like better position oh. myself. Oh, I made you a favorite friend. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, nope, that's block. We're not going to do that one. Oh, wait, do I have to just block him? <laughs> no, there we go. Hey, my friend. Block. We're stuck together now. Are you still flying, Jay? Yeah, I'm a little bit behind you. I, okay. It set me back when I when I uh, re-entered. It set me back to like the checkpoint. But I'm <gasps> behind you. We can run around together. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're holding hands. I went. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, so oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I wonder if I can wait. Oh, you're here. driving. I think you're, are you driving? Oh, really? I think you're driving. Oh, okay. Because I think you sent the you. invite. Oh, interesting. <gasps> oh, that's We're cool. Flying. I wonder how many people can fly, like, can hold hands. I don't know, but we, we, need, to, we need to <laughs> find out. We need to stand in a circle and try to all hold hands. <laughs> all right. We can do new, it. We can do new it. New quest unlocked. Find Prof Lynette. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. I have I'm no waiting to see if uh, Jay plays games lands next to me. 
Yeah, I'm like, but you you saw, saw, I'm like 60 seconds behind you. This is fascinating Twitch streaming here. <laughs> Watch me stand around waiting for. <laughs> yeah, oh man, this yeah, is those cool. Are, those are other people, I think. You're just like playing my game for me, Sweater. I love it. I know, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna undo <laughs> it. So here you can send the request and you can see like. Is that you? Is that I'm like you? right behind you. So if You're I, like let me see. Little field of oh, poppies right or whatever. Button. I'm like just about the to land. The button is. Uh, Oh, this, and then, oh wait, how do I, oh, here we go, off one of my those... hand. No. Oh, I'm gonna take it. I'm in the same spot as you. Oh, okay. you are? Yeah, but I don't huh. see you. I'm like right in that, oh, yeah, like no, literally in that. Is this you? Wild. No. No, no, I'm like, I'm like literally right where you were. So we can like show each other little... things, I guess, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. cool. Right, I'm gonna that's go through cool there thing. too. Yeah, let's see if, hmm. Look at these guys are like flipping out. These this is land and ride on creatures to reach new places. Oh right. my goodness. All land right. Is we on, are, us on a manta ray. We are going for a ride. And sense a calling from the light. Are we there? I think we're there. Oh. I can't. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Wait, we haven't landed yet, though. We're just like flying above it. It seems to be like hovering us above it. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Where's the. Are you land. in this area? Uh, is this the land? Have yeah. you landed? Yeah, I am. I'm Whoa. like standing like right in the middle. All right, I'm gonna stand yeah. right in the middle of that. Oh yeah, I think we're pool. I think we're landed. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was abrupt. I'm like, I'm standing okay. in that I little island right somewhere. in that little. Here, pool. I'll, I'll let me give you your. It okay, feels weird to be driving so often. That's you. I don't there see. I don't see you at all though. Sorry. I'm oh gonna no. Break, I'm gonna break our friendship. Huh. <laughs> that was cool. It's yeah, we're cool. friends. Weird. Someone's trying to offer you. That's not me, though. That's weird. Because I don't see anybody. <laughs> I don't want to be your friend That's anyway. That's not me. Oh, so do well, we just, I guess we I just wait. It? We just wait for y'all, right? Who are you? Who is this person? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm confused. How come I can't find anybody? Is this still the tutorial? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, oh, maybe. But I think that's another, is that another player? Uh oh, I'm out of I'm out of juice. Mm. I'm out of flying juice. Maybe we have to we have to break up with Dawn here and go to whoever we love next to find each other. Because we're yeah, this is still the tutorial. Maybe I don't know because like we're in the same spot, but I can't. I don't see you at all. Yeah, maybe you have to be like on a map map. Oops. Whoops. Our friendship wasn't meant to be. I know. It's not interested. <laughs> not interested. So now when I tap, it shows me where Sweater Wolf is, as well as my objective. Aww. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I wanted to all hold hands. What the heck? Me too. Me too. I'm going to wait here for y'all. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm guessing you're still not in the middle, right? <laughs> no, but I'm still in that area. I'm like by the little, little like launching point. Did you all finish but that see, I never first got any level? of those. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, uh, we got past the little Come to the title thing. screen, basically. Yeah, maybe we'll go to the military thing and see if we can find each other. Yeah, I'm definitely not going anywhere until we can all hold hands. <laughs> you can chat with another player who sits by you until the candle burns out. That's what that said. How do I get yeah, out yeah. of here? I just do objectives. Was... I just leave. <laughs> That's a good call. Perfect. Perfect. I'm waiting for you all, and I'm yeah, just like, just oh, go ahead, go for it. No, objectives are good. I think it's good. <laughs> Sweater wolf's out there smurfing. Yeah, I'm smurfing. I'm lighting all the candles. My objective is for I'm healing next to all the all the spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Grinding out here. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna try to get to that next area here. What was it called? The thing? The Not prairie, prairie. Prairie of something. Dawn. I don't know. It's not it's Whoa, I just went into uh Dark. Or Dawn is as, as Fiscuff is saying. Not Dawn, but Don. I love Don. Don. <laughs> <laughs> it's the level after I love Don. I love Lucy. The hot to full boyfriend level. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to go back home. Back, go down. Down. There we go. Also, I'm doing down. objectives. Return shrine allows you to leave home. Talk to this person. I mean, Probably. this is cool. I, oh. Oh, wait. Lighting candles gives me more ketchup, right? I don't want to follow the spirit to relive its memories. I don't care about their memories. Oh, wait. <laughs> Making my own memories, man. Okay, this is not Sweater Wolf. Isle of Dawn. 
That's where. Wait, where are y'all? No, we're in the prairie. prairie. Oh, if I keep prairie. going, I'm gonna finish this level though, so I'm not gonna Ooh. do that. Yeah, I think I'm finishing. Oh, I'm in the daylight level. prairie now. <laughs> yeah, daylight prairie. Yeah, that's it. Can you go back to your home and then re-enter Daylight Prairie and we'll put you at the beginning? Oh, than like good a call. Good call. So I just entered Daylight Prairie. Although we're okay. probably not friends, are we? So we're Yeah, let's get that friend invite. But, Send uh, let's see. All right. Send that to me, Jay. Are you about to finish How this? How are you going soon? to Daylight Prairie? I don't understand. Uh, keep going uh, from here. Go keep progressing. Oh, you're on the home. Uh, go back to that little... Wait. Um, where are you? This thing? Yeah, that uh yes, that thing. That'll uh put you back at your next That's checkpoint. The world. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. no, I lost you, sweater. Last checkpoint that you were Yeah, I I think I finished this level. Oh, okay. All right. Then <laughs> I didn't realize this was like the end of the level. I thought oh, it was just lighting candles. You pray at the last happen. thing. So then yeah. um okay. from there, turn I'll wait. Uh to your left and then just follow that that path. Yeah. And it's only about I don't know, three minutes or so. <laughs> wait, am I flying again? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, now I remember. Now I'm I just going to stay right here at the entrance of the prairie. Sorry, chat. This is a very high focus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird that we couldn't see each other, though. Yeah. 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 I Because I did accept your friend request, right? It seemed yeah. like I did. It said hmm. it, your name popped up. My God, this candle is taking forever. Oh, I just found the monetization. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I spent I spent all of my iced coffee, uh love coffee, whatever this resource is. Uh, yeah, to, love to love like a now, I, uh, now I can buy I more was, I iced coffee. <laughs> love Your coffee. Extra big gulp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that it is was, a weird icon, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like a Japanese mayo bottle. Okay. I need to. There seems to be something cool up there, and I want it. I need to figure out how to get it. I actually skipped this. Uh, oh, you skipped this, and you kept flying? Yeah. I'll bring you oh, back. Oh, can I see night. you yet? No, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't have a Prof. Let Lynette notification yet. <laughs> Sad. Oh, because it pops up, and it says that you're near? or If I, like, when Sweater and I are on the same map. Oh, Daylight oh. Prairie. Um, so let's see. So we're on the same map in the same spot. I'm right here on this starting ledge. I haven't moved. Oh, we're so not friends yet, Jay. Can I get a friend invite from you? Oh, um, or do you want one from me? I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna try to see if I can find Lynette because she just. We're at the same spot now. I want to see if it. I don't know if we can't find each other. Okay. Like I'm standing on that ledge right there. I don't see you at all. Weird. Um. Hmm. How? Because you can't. Can you check your friends? I didn't see that unless you were like already in the same area. I didn't see a way to do that. Could oh, just I don't want to go home though. When lost, tap yourself. Yeah. yeah I'm going to try going home and I'm I'll aware. try getting back into that. Stay right I'm there for a sec. Perpetually okay. lost. And I'll see if I can. Yes, I just leveled up to level three in. wings. Oh my gosh. Smurf Central. <laughs> I have an anti gravity spell. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. the gel, my jealousy. Is the roof. <laughs> okay, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm done here outside of finishing the level. Wait, is this you? No, that's a person. It no, I'm still in the. Right? Jay plays <gasps> with your friend Star. Retrieve your gift of light. What does that mean? Oh, um, at home. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> what? I don't get it. this. This part mean? of the interface is a little confusing here. Wait, so should I go home and then join your friend? Oh, wait. Okay, oh, I won't do wait. anything. I won't do anything. Right, yeah. There you go. Hey, we're here. All right. Hey, we Our did it. All right. Friends. Oh, wait. No, go, you need to be go favorite. Away, Samsung. Offer. Yeah. Unlock a high five. Wait. What? what? I'm offering yeah. this to you. <laughs> Heck yeah. High five. Heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We unlocked this on our Whoa. little tree. Our skill tree of friend emotes we can do. Look, we can we can hug for two two coffees. <laughs> we can <laughs> we can coffee. double high five for four coffees. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. I'm waiting on the high five. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome. That's awesome. That is cool. Okay. Oh, oh we can hold hands. Look, oh, I'm offering see. to hold your hand. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, so sweet. It's okay, wait, wait, y'all flew right. together? Oh yeah, so I'm not going to touch the controls. I think you can now 
drive? Can you Price. can you move us? Uh, no. All right, let me try. Wait, it cost me Japanese mail to plant messages? No thanks. Japanese mail. Oh, I can, I'm driving, I guess. Okay. Oh, because probably because you offered. Oh, yes. probably. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Sweater, where are you? <laughs> um, I like, went back to my hub, but I don't think I, I don't know how to go back to the ocean sickness. Like, uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll just follow you. I'm going to, uh, I'll just finish this level out because I think I'm almost. Oops. I think the only thing oh, we're holding hands to, again, sorry. To go pray. <laughs> how do I stop? How do we stop holding hands? Not that oh, I don't good. enjoy holding hands. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's it's a little little light. Light. Okay. Find. Oh, okay. Sweet. What's weird is it's got my name over your character, <laughs> which is kind of strange. So I was looking at you and it said J plays. Just a <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I can go back to the prairie. Oh, you're coming here? Yeah. Oh, Follow right. the spirit. Right, we'll, yeah, we can wait here. We can wait right here. We just went the, for the first, I don't know, 60 seconds or so. First big really jump. Great. Okay. Uh, while we're waiting, let's see. What else can we unlock? It's telling me to go in here. Oops. 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 Sorry. That was my bad. Edit friend <laughs> name. Mm, I'm finding like. This we is a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Okay. It says uh, this is follow the spirit to relive its memories. Okay. I guess there is a lot of stuff to do here. Oh, I didn't see. Sorry if you said this go. already, how much the coffee hearts are. <laughs> so it says let's see. From the shop. Oh, I, I didn't. I don't know in terms of like real money. Oh, Wait, is this a high? Oh, you can uh, offer blank to this friend to unlock high five, but we already did that. Oh, and I get down like on a knee with a little heart candle. Offer it again. Oh, oh unlock oh, wait. a hug. Oh. Wait, who is this? Is this, is this one of our... Did you do that? Ones? Yeah, okay, yeah. nice. Wait, who is this? I see somebody. Somebody's here. Oh, wait, not that one. Oh, we can high five. High five. I think I'm near y'all. We need to both unlock the hug. Oh, maybe. Uh, where's the hug? Oh, there we go. Unlock hug, yes. I think I just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> So wow. <laughs> oh. It's so this precious. Like sweet, yeah, it's like the sweetest little game. It's like no. perfect because we can't actually see each other in real life. Totally, so here, yeah. let's give you a high five and a hug. Let's, let's video high five and hug. Wait, is this you guys? Wait, no. I don't think so. We're kind of like right at the, after the first big jump uh, from on the prairie. Oh, hell yeah. I just unlocked a yawn. How come I can't see? That doesn't show like your name. Oh, I guess I'm only friends with Wizard though. So. Oh yeah, so that'd be interesting if you are friends. If we can be, we yeah. are not. Yeah, if it, it'll show up, or if it like locks. It locks us out. So are you still flying? I just went through all the clouds, um, but I got stuck in the clouds, so it took me a while. So now I'm. <laughs> In the little, like the green area of the prairie. Wow, I have six Japanese mayo. <laughs> feels feels good, man. Okay, I I think I. Oh my god, I see somebody. Oh, see wait. somebody. I I had a I had an icon and then disappeared. I thought it was one of you. But... Are you in the prairie also? Yeah, I'm wandering the prairie. Can you still see my name? No, not anymore. Yeah, I can't see you either. A bunch of things are happening that I like do not understand. <laughs> uh, we have it's four thirty. Yeah, we should. We cart want it to up. attempt Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> we should cart it up. We should cart it up. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with doing some Mario Kart, and then we can debrief. Because of cool. course, like I wanted to do the this game for the bulk of it because I, as I was looking at it, I was like, this is the most complex of the three. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. totally. It's really charming. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. I mean, it's very that game company <laughs> game, you know? Yeah. I was going to say the first time I was playing it, it really felt like their fingerprints were, you know, mm -hmm. like really on it. Yeah. I can so chat this. for, if you're not familiar with that game company, they did flower and journey and flow was their earliest game. Uh, but all the same style. I mean, again, this this looks a lot like I was I was asking before stream started if this is in like the 
the journey cinematic universe because it, it looks a lot like it you know the, the iconography is pretty similar and stuff mm -hmm. but it looks like it has its own lore and things, so. yeah, yeah. I, i'm writing the giant um, i think that person just became my friend or offered oh, friendship oh <laughs> i think it's so nice it's like oh, so oh, sweet yeah. yeah i know it's very wholesome <laughs> will you be my friend mm -hmm. oh am right, i burning I around just finish this level so i can find sweater oh no I feel very, yeah, I feel very like alone. All these little plants. Do we have to burn these? I think so. It's calamity. Have to cannon. burn them? Oh. Oops. Oh, I fell. I fell. <laughs> oh, wait. There's a person down there. Oh. You must have done the rest of them. Because is it that we do it together, right? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. We're, when y'all were out. doing your things, uh, Profe and Sweater, were you unlocking things together? Uh, no, we like detached. And <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we rode on a manta ray together. That was fun. <laughs> but when you put it like that. Okay, I'm going to pray now. Oh, there's one more. I see it. My wave. My wave to you. <laughs> Can I go down there? I can't go down Dude, there. there's more story no, happening. Is the camera is like, ooh, it's a little funky. There we go. Whoa, this elder is like huge. I feel like I did them all, but. Oh Tap I want to forge a light tribute. <laughs> Can I just jump off the side of this little mountain? Oh, maybe oh. this is the same oh. elder. <laughs> I keep um, thinking that I'm done, but it's like, no, more cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. More stuff is happening. All right, I'm just going to put it down. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll wait for y'all. Oh, I see. I see the man. Is this oh, the, the manta? manta right? Oh, there's the manta. Yeah. Butterfly. You ride the manta. Aww. Oh, by the way, the cat has a pretty important update. The cat has changed position. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the kind of life I want to lead. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even fully fit it in frame. That's how long he is right now. Look at that. All right, a I'm boy. just a very long, a long boy. boy. <laughs> I'm returning home to try to switch over to to the Mario Kart. All right, okay, it's huge. There it is. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> bingo, bingo. Working on the bingo. 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 Up. <laughs> All right, uh, let's un unbig you. <laughs> Unbig a five. Unbig and get the Mario Kart. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. I su I suppose I'll leave this beautiful world. <laughs> uh, okay. So I I guess I didn't hold on. Let me put me back. Put us back on our faces. I sure. didn't know if I could directly invite y'all. Or oh no, create a room. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I think you make a code. Yeah. Okay, and then there's race settings. I don't think there's only four of us. I don't think we need to make teams. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm like slouching so hard in my chair. Right I know. Yeah, yeah. Bad. <laughs> yeah posture. Yeah, everyone gets a chance to check. check out the male pattern happening right here. <laughs> <as I'm looking. laughs> oh man. Okay, so oh. or how do I do this? Sorry, need to stop. Need to stop fiddling. Okay, okay. Let me, I'm gonna put uh, it in the chat. Glider point us. boost ticket. I don't know. Whatever. Yes, thank you, Mario. Okay, multiplayer. Here we go. Uh, with friends or others nearby. Oh, oh I set up a room code. Sorry. Oh, you put in the in the private chat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this one's long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yes. Ooh. Yeah. It's joining. Oh, wait, I can add you as a friend from here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Not that it's not. I don't know if we're going to revisit Mario Kart after <laughs> this. <but laughs> oh, wow. Wow. We're in there. <laughs> Once again, quick update. <laughs> oh my god. You knew gosh. we were talking about him. <laughs> He's a little fluffy boy. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's let's go. Oops, whoops. Oh. <laughs> I got really big for a second. Okay. Um. Who do I want to play? I'm gonna go as Peach. Oh, I was playing as Peach. Oh, you. <laughs> Well, right, I like we can now. actually see how good we are now that we're not just playing tutorial computer bots. <laughs> <box. laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, and we have the bots to compete against too. So. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's on. Maybe. I was like, you know, did it break? <laughs> hmm. Oh no! I am so bad at Mario Kart. I'm wow. just terrible at it. I was way better at this against computers. <laughs> <laughs> How do you throw the items? Oh, oh, it. Uh, oh tap. No, I just ran into you. <laughs> ah, okay. you sweater, I think you tap. Yeah, um, okay. You can just tap at kind of anywhere. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try to get proper again. No. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh I went no. into the oh. Uh oh. That was bad. I was playing all this mobile. My thumb is like. I swear it was way sticky better. Sticky gear or something. Yeah, I know. Oh, I got hit. Someone hit me. King Baba, I'm get out of here, son. All right. Oh, no. All right. Okay. All right. I think Ooh, I'm wow. the reason I'm so bad at this is I'm so aggressive in my drift. Like I don't do it <laughs> subtly, so I'm always just like, oh, <laughs> all over the place. Uh oh. Oh, this is like infinitely oh, no. better with friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like it felt like a it felt like a chore last night when I was trying to oh, run no. a multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. You know, but now I'm like, oh yeah, this is dope. Well, because it's like, yeah, we're competing against each other. We see what place we're in. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, can, I can see your name. I can see Kelly's right there. <laughs> oh, fifth place. <laughs> Who won? I came in second. Ooh, I nice. think a bot. I think a bot won. Yeah. Oh, Prof A won. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A very nice. A little Smurf. <laughs> oh man! Uh, I yeah, should we I, only, I only played enough to unlock multiplayer uh -huh. yesterday. Yeah. How many uh -huh. hours did you play? We can't tell. Uh, on this account, he unlocked them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not like Steam where we can see your play time. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, you won't be able to see my "Don't Starve Together" play time because I'm playing it on PlayStation. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, wait, I don't want to exit the room. I want we to just stay in here, I think, right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Toadette is my jam right now. All right. Peach and Peach. Peach and Peach. All right. Ooh, the old N64 Calamari Desert. <laughs> Classic. Oh, I didn't get the little Dang. boost. Oh, how do you boost? Uh, if you hit it right at, at like, of, yeah. yeah, it's the ti it's the timing of the countdown. You have to you hit it. I think so. Yeah. You have to start your acceleration at the right time. Yeah. Wait, mine's on auto accelerate. How does that work? It it is um, it always auto accelerates. It's just on that countdown. Ew. So on that countdown, if you tap it like right when it hits, you know, zero, you'll get a little wow. boost, a little like uh, turbo cry. boost to start. Right. Okay. <laughs> Should not have done that. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Oh, I almost got you taken out. No. <laughs> taken out. From second to sixth. Train. Oh no. Yeah. Dry bones, get out of here. Oh, gosh. I'll get you. Whoa, <laughs> what? 
Oh, 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 you laughed. Oh, I bumped you in. Oh. <laughs> but nice. I, was, I, was, I, was, I was going right to pass you and then bumped you right into it. Nice. That's so funny. Uh, oh, Prop A, can you not? Okay, again, smurfing. Oh, smurfing, smurfing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Unbelievable. I, I, we need um, a custom Twitch uh, emote for smurfing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that should be the one we actually upload first. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play Baby Mario. Try. Rosalina. Is it Rosalina? Is that her? I can't remember. Rosalyn? I don't know. I don't know the Mario lore terribly well. Mm-hmm. Is she the one that's like turns into like a anti Bowser or something like that? Mm. Or am I thinking? Am I thinking of someone else? I'm probably thinking. Oh, <laughs> I did not do that successfully. Oh, I also forgot that you could do that, even though Jay just explained it to me. <laughs> oh, I hate this level. This is oh, one of the, sure. oh, wow. this is oh, one wow. of the tutorial levels, wasn't it? Yes, I remember yeah, yeah. this from yesterday, yeah. and not any other time I played. Yeah, this out, man. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, oh God. I feel like I'm constantly having to like reposition my Ooh, thumb yeah. and it like screws me up. Ooh, ooh. No, I agree. I just I took like a we... big hit from a pinball. Not oh, good. Gosh. Wow. This is the this is the end of my reign. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, some of what? Oh. First to fifth. Is that you, Kelly? <laughs> Drifting around, I see that. The drift is fun. Oh, let's take him down. Oh, wait. No, I, I don't have a thing to throw. <laughs> oh, oh, no! No! Oh, no! <laughs> that was cheesy. Oh, man. Who did that? I wonder. Prof A. You can get it. Who would do that? Oh, oh, I hit the bumper. Oh, no. Oh, that bumper. That really. Funny, oh, that. you little shell me. having. I didn't do that during the tutorial. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, we although, shell. like we we're saying, the tutorial is probably easier because <laughs> we kept getting first place. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely. I'm fine being last. It's whatever. <laughs> At this point, there's no hope in coming back. Whoa! 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 Oh, I'm big now. Uh, stupid thumb. No! <laughs> uh, no! Oh, heck. Oh, how did I... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, that hurts. Okay. That hurts. Yeah, no. that hurts. Oh, Bummer. Ouch. Ooh, those pinballs. Mm. There's the bumper. Yeah, bumper. yeah. yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh Prophet last. Yeah. First to worst. First yeah. to worst. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> That's painful. Oh, man. I just want to write a sing right now. A new record. Sweet. All right. Oh, my God. Third place. Come on. They didn't uh, make a big deal out of it being uh, like a, oh, a cup, God. though. You know, there was no like overall winner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought there was going to be. Oops, oh, wait, are we done? Know. Yeah, yeah, I guess that was. I guess that was. That it. was it's like four, right? Did we do four games? Yeah, I thought that was mm-hmm. three. Yeah. Well, it might have been three. I, don't I know. think that was four. Oh, I can add friendos. There we yeah, go. Yeah, from the screen right there. Oh crap! I missed sweater wolf. Oh whoops! I accidentally. No, no, it's all right. All right let's look at the monetization here a little bit. Yeah, we got it. We got to check that out. Uh, okay, so I got this. Is like. This is the type of game that overwhelms me because I don't know about y'all. When I first downloaded it and I was trying to get through and unlock multiplayer, it's like pop up, pop up, pop up, mm-hmm. flash colors, sounds, and I'm just like, Jesus, like please slow down. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't. You know, it's like just uh, overload with the senses. <clears throat> just on this screen alone, I mean, look at all the little numbers, icons, stars, things. You know, like yeah, totally. I get like overwhelmed. And again, yeah. you know, I I've played tens of thousands of hours of games and these these types of game mobile games just seem to like really be hard to read yeah at least for me 
Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was it's an interesting contrast Excuse from Sky, mm -hmm. right? Because when you're mm -hmm. in it, it like it the game seems to actively try to hide its monetization you know what i'm saying right. like you can like there yeah. is that menu but you like really have to like i didn't even know there was a settings up in the corner until prof lynette told me you know mm -hmm. so the thing i was thinking about yesterday and i don't know if we're talking or if we're going to do another round but um oh look at that subscribe to the gold pass i know this so this is another one of these things oh. like yeah please read the notes before completing your purchase good disclaimer because <laughs> <laughs> i guess we because gamification right oh, yeah, is like know. a big it's like a big word that people in in games research and education research both like use in, in the venn diagram of games researchers and education researchers there's gamification right somewhere uh -huh. somewhere in the overlap and it, it really struck me yesterday as I play tested this and Sky how much something like Mario Kart is very gamified, right? To the degree that it really mm -hmm. wants, you know, you to see your progression and um, you know, get on a leaderboard and and connect socially and like all of these things. Whereas Sky really seems to be actively working against gamification like yes there is the stuff in there but it seems i don't know it seems to be much maybe maybe i'm just looking at this with rose colored glasses because i like that game company so much <laughs> but it seems to be a lot more invested in pulling you into i'm gonna sound like a shill the experience right? <laughs> as opposed to like reminding you this is a game and here's the next thing you need to do and and yeah. you know get to this level or whatever i feel like sky is just like oh hey this is a world explore right. it these are people you know meet mm -hmm. them connect with them this is an adventure enjoy it yeah no, that's, a, that's a really good point it didn't feel like a mobile game to me kind of going back mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. some yeah. of the questions we were talking mm -hmm. about earlier well, yeah, no, it's, it's totally, yeah. i'm gonna put us to, to talking mode since we're talking okay. um right, i mean yeah. unless you i mean profe do you want to redeem yourself because I'm no no i'll take i'll take the l <laughs> I'll take the third place. I mean, three first places in the last. I, it, it was like a lot, you know. So <laughs> it was a lot of a success for you. I, I feel like. <laughs> I know. Um, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> no, Elle, it's just less. Probably it's going to be two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I leveled up. Cups. I leveled yeah. up Toad. Oh, I got to get him. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that's great. Um, Enjoy your victory until I start paying real <laughs> currency, <laughs> and it's over for y'all. The monthly subscription and stuff like paying that. To, paying for gold. Uh, the so highest I, I saw on that one was sixty nine ninety seven seventy bucks. Good for, lord! It was like a bunch of the rubies or whatever seventy bucks. Yeah, and they also have the monthly subscription thing for that gold, whatever, whatever that was. But um, yeah, I just get overwhelmed with currencies because this was when when Sweater Wolf paid uh, or played paid <laughs> when you were like. <laughs> Wow, what a sweater there ever was. Um, hey, we're we're actually on to you. all shills yeah. for the game uh -oh. industry. <laughs> so you played Genshin and there was like the, just the currency like of like you spend this on this and that for that. And it's just like, that's too many things for my brain to wrap around to, mm -hmm. to feel comfortable enough to be like, I know exactly what I'm spending, you know, like, or mm -hmm. there's like a masking that happens there. Yeah, yeah. And that's the whole design, right? Is like, you don't know how much money you're spending. So you got to convert, you know, like a lot of the most games are, you know, right, like poke coins, it's like the one, like, you know, buy, but then some of them have the second currency, where it's like, you buy poke coins, and then you buy like some <laughs> other currency. And that's actually what you buy it in. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, like, Mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah, you buy rubies to get pokey coins to get the thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just like, don't know what money is anymore. And <laughs> <laughs> Disney did that, right? All the theme parks, you would go and get Disney dollars, and they didn't convert it. Like, oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Like, you know, that's that's a common enough occurrence. Or credits, you know, on slot machines, you buy a certain number of credits, but they're not exactly, you know. Right. So I think that yeah. obfuscation, and and I, again, I think that's we've already touched on this a number of times. But, you know, that's that's the thing where people sense that it's unfair or dirty or manipulative or whatever you want to call it. I think that that's the thing that turns so many people off. But it's also the place that lots of people who are are sort of prone to that kind of stuff get sucked up you know, into. And I mean, it's not just games. It's all kinds of stuff. But, you know, right. buying 
thousands of dollars worth of coins in Mario Kart because you just like that that obfuscation takes that that connection away from them and they mm-hmm. come bad companies prey on that. Nintendo, hmm, you know, I, I tend to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I mean they certainly there's a reason they said no mobile, no mobile, no mobile. And all of a sudden they've got a bunch of mobile Mario run and this one and another, uh, I mean, uh, Pokemon go and some others. And so they realized, well, you know, there's, there's money to be made. So. Hmm. Right. Right. Um, so we touched on a lot of different discussions, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> but the closing question that I want, I don't know. I'm always like, you know, I'm for me personally, I'm trying to like, yes, critique, but then, offer something alternative or think about, imagine something uh, that you would like to see instead or what elements do you really appreciate? So the question, the closing question for us is, what would you like to see in next generations of mobile gaming? So like, of course, this is not the end of mobile, mobile gaming. Of course, people are trying to capitalize on new technologies or new types of experiences. And um, I mean, of course, at the end of the day, they're all businesses trying to make money. But um, for the sorts of experience, because you know, in phases, like it get things get old. So then you have to make something new or like introduce something. So what are some things, even if it's like elements that you enjoy from mobile gaming, even if none of us are like committed mobile gamers, like what are some things that either you would like to see or that you anticipate would be part of these next generation of mobile gaming type things? Should we go in reverse introduction? Yeah, I don't even remember what order. Oh, reverse intro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So are you saying me first? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, so without getting like too caught up in the anxieties of black mirror stuff is like, cause that's the, I mentioned the thing about corruption, like whatever cool thing is going to, that comes out is going to be corrupted in some way. But I, I really am one of the reasons why I was drawn to something like Pokemon go and wizards unite is, uh, AR as part of like thinking about blending of experiences or thinking about reality and you have something on the go that is like how do you have something that is a whole digital world interact perhaps with your real world environment so for me personally like i what i like about location based is the exploration aspect and then also thinking about um i i the ar in these games is very simple but thinking about is there going back to the conversation about like material physical versus digital is there like a digital thing that i can like own because part of my issue as like i get stressed out by a lot of stuff so part of like why i like digital stuff is it doesn't take up physical space or clutter or whatever so if i can have Mm -hmm. like a digital i don't know like a I, I'm just thinking of like if I can be my D and D character and have like digital my digital gear that I hang up literally in my closet like that like that's kind of like where my mind is going is like actually taking on like oh I'm playing it but I'm like actually in my home I have stuff that I've acquired through a digital world that I can like see or interact with but that's kind of that that was the first thought that I thought of when I was making this question, but I'm not Mm. sure um, what other sorts of directions or things for mobile gaming. I'll pass it. You have to pass your cup. You gotta- Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I will offer you my water. (laughs) It is now matcha. Oh. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all have to bring cups. We all have to have (laughs) props. I have to do. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna gonna get ready for this because it's gonna go. Yeah, um, <laughs> thank you. Shark Dog, I cannot oh, tell you how you. many hours we spend practicing that. <laughs> That's hours. what we did in our entire holiday break was just all right, ready? Yeah, oh my goodness. All right, take care, buddy. <laughs> we're, we're see off, That's what we were doing. <laughs> I know I don't know how much of a thing this is anymore. Um and I guess you could sort of say this about Harry Potter, but I don't know because I don't I don't play Wizards Unite. But I would be more interested in seeing um kind of transmedia stuff oh, being told. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Tonight it pisses me off because they don't do that. And I feel like it's a myth. Ah, to to okay. I support that. <laughs> okay. All right. And I guess the example that I can give is like the Witcher 3 and Gwent. 
You know, like you can only get so far. And Gwent is the the card game, right? Within Witcher Three. And for the people that play RPGs, sometimes the card game like becomes like the attraction, right? Or sometimes like the mini games become the attraction, right? I can. I only play Final Fantasy X up to the point where I unlock Blitzball, and then it just becomes <laughs> Blitzball Simulator 2021. Um, and all I care about is Blitzball. Um, but yeah, so Gwent is like, was a, a really, I thought Gwent was a really fun part of The Witcher 3, but Gwent got old eventually within that game because the computer could only do, the computer was only that good, right? Mm -hmm. And I always, you know, I always thought, oh, like a standalone Gwent would be really cool. And then Gwent kind of became its own standalone thing. But it, I don't know. I wonder if there's, would it be interesting for people to, to sort of play standalone Gwent and have some of that standalone Gwent progress carry into The Witcher 3? I don't know if that would be cool or interesting, but, but more kind of transmedia storytelling stuff where you really have to experience it across different platforms to kind of understand the world and the lore and the universe. It feels like there's a lot of opportunity there, right, in terms of storytelling and like changing people's experiences. So that's what I want to see more. Jay, you ready? For a little, yeah, it's gonna become it's gonna become coffee. I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna have to kind of go. Oh, maybe yeah. I should here. I'll do. I'll do it this way. I'll do it. I'll pass it around I and then it around. Come. Oh, all right. Oh, gosh. All right. Okay. Yeah, it'll come from. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna, I just we're gonna have work my hand that. above like, above and just sort of do like that. Okay. We're gonna right. we'll, we'll work on. We'll work on verticals. Horizontals. I think we're 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 feeling good. But vertical. Yeah, the ver yeah, it's hard. <laughs> An extra axis is throwing us off. So uh, also, um, uh, Prof, I don't give the Kingdom Hearts people any ideas because they already do. Something <laughs> like um, I don't want to read. I don't read more stuff about their lore. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to sound a little bit um, like a thief, which is okay, uh, because I, I I would I would sort of build on on both of what you you just said. Um, you know, I think for mobile gaming, I mean, using the idea of it being a mobile platform uh, in, in good and interesting kinds of ways, um, you know, and, and especially the AR aspect, um, I think it's really fascinating. I never got actually into um, Pokemon Go or, or any of the other sort of location-based stuff. Uh, I played around a little bit with Minecraft Earth, which rip, I think it's, clo I think it's closing yeah, down yeah. already, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, um, you know, like, like AR is so fascinating and, and such a, such a cool way of thinking about how to operate within your environment. And I think mobile platforms can do that really well, whether that's location-based or not, you know, driving, driving, down the, well, not driving, um, standing in a park or something like that, or, or, you know, or walking around through your building or wherever you are. Mario Kart. Right. Yeah, Mar yeah, the Mario Kart. Right? Yeah, totally. But like, um, I, I, I find that, um, that is a really kind of interesting way to engage with space and the world. And, and certainly as we're hopefully going to, you know, eventually start plugging back into the world together. I think those kinds of platforms will be really, yeah, hopefully will be really useful and, and, and maybe a, a chance to, to do kinds of new things. I think that's really cool. And then the other thing, so I'm going to give away my million dollar idea. Now it's copyrighted to profs play at the very least, cause I'm saying it here, but, <laughs> but and this, this sort of builds on, on prof a, what you were playing, uh, saying about sort of transmedia and stuff, but I've always had this idea of, of what I've, what I've called like the elevator game. Right. And I'll give you like the best example I can think of is probably one of the best sort of transmedia um, environments too is star Wars. Right. So star Wars, think of all the star Wars games that are out there. There's, you know, Republic commando and the shootery kinds of games. There's the strat galactic empires and the strategy sort of building games. There's battlefront. There's, um, you know, uh, uh, empire at war, which is like sort of like a civ kind of, you know, RTS kind of version. There's, you know, there's all these different sort of versions and it'd be really kind of cool to get them to sort of plug in, in an interesting way. So if you're playing, for example, at like the, the civilization re strategy, you know, where you're managing, armies all across the galaxy and stuff like that. You send your troops to this one sort of command. And then somewhere down the line that plugs into, say, Battlefront, um, where people are playing, you know, third-person shootery kinds of stuff. And they're actually your troops. And what they do actually sort of impacts, uh, like, your game, right? So you're commanding troops. We're going and playing these things. And mobile could be a part of that. And just plugs all together into this, like, this ecosystem of, of things. And I think that could be, like, a, such a cool way of leveraging like not only different genres because not everyone wants to play the strategy version but maybe they'd right. like computer, right yeah. but they're building up and, and so this actually came from farmville i always thought like wouldn't it be great if i could like 
make my mother-in-law be harvesting cotton for me in World of Warcraft. So I didn't have to go uh-huh. out and do it, you know? And like, she's in Farmville, she's harvesting and it plugs right back in. And <laughs> like, yeah. grind, you know, wouldn't yeah. that be great? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so, like that would be so cool. And I think mobile could be a really great, great uh, part of that. Um, but, you know, complex. But I think we're seeing certainly through things like, I mean, Disney's leading this in a lot of ways, but MCU and and Star Wars and stuff that this this idea that that these are these are larger than just the object or the story or the movie or the book or whatever that they plug mm-hmm. into some larger sense of of like the world that it is. Maybe that's the opportunity to do this kind of gaming stuff. And I think mobile could be a good good part of that. And I would kind of get into that. Mm-hmm. So with that, all right, all right, here we go. <clears throat> you have your cup. Oh, you oh ready? yeah. I'm going. <laughs> We didn't account for the curvature of the earth. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kelly's in the future. That's right. You are in the future. It's true. Yes. I can't tell you about it. It'll change the timeline. But. Uh, Fisticuff says my dream for a future mobile app is you click on its app icon and starts playing immediately with no loading, no title screen, no credit screen, no ads. Yeah, that's the actual dream. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's no like ads. too bold. Too bold of a dream, I think. Yeah, it's still the rest of that is still a <laughs> dream. No ads. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking. Have any of you ever played Lifeline? By any chance, it was this game. It came out like when the Apple Watch just came, had just first come out. So it was intended to be played on the watch. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. that game. So communicating with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's like this astronaut that lands on a planet, and this is all text. And he um like starts text messaging you, and is you're like his only lifeline, right? Or his or her is like an ambiguous uh, protagonist. Um, and so you have to like direct this person, and it's like, oh, should I go like check on? part of the ship or should I go investigate this noise? It's like, okay, I'm going to go do that. So then a few hours later, you get the text back, you know, and find out what the outcome of that thing was. So it really gave you the sense of like, there's this person waiting on me, right. That I'm like trying to help out. Um, and, you know, I think that's kind of like waiting, you know, cause you always have your phone with you. Right. And so I think leveraging that idea and, you know, so many mobile games have those waiting mechanics right like you know plant your watermelon seeds and then you know check back in eight hours and of course you know in something like farmville or many mobile games it's like well you know then pay to speed up so you know your watermelons are going to take two hours instead of eight hours but i think leveraging it to like do something like lifeline did right where it's like telling a story or it's like giving you that sense of immersion as you're actually going on your day and real time passes instead of just like as a way of getting you to spend money because you're impatient uh i think Mm -hmm. like that would be really cool like my dream i think has always been to just have like a Tamagotchi on my phone, but like the the 2021 equivalent of a Tamagotchi that will like keep me amused for longer than an actual Tamagotchi will. But like, (laughs) I love virtual pets when I was a kid, right? Like I loved having like this little like thing, right? That I would Mm -hmm. check in on. Um, so I don't know. There's something I really, I really like about that. Um, I don't know. It could be annoying also, right? Then like, it, yeah. it, you know, I don't want to clutter, be cluttered with more <laughs> notifications right. that I don't need. Uh, right. But I think it was done, you know, like it, in a compelling game experience, you know, and, you know, I'm imagining this not persistent, right? Like Lifeline takes a day or two um, to just have that experience. I think that's like really cool. I want to see more stuff like that. Um, all right. And I'll Neopets. pass it. Yes. Neopets 20. I tried to get into my Neopets account last oh my year. God, Neopets. Neopets <laughs> account. Yeah. That's a story for another time, but, yeah. uh, yeah. We're so dating I'll, ourselves now. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, we really are. Um, so I'll pass it back up to wizard. Uh, Thank I don't you. know. We should come. Wait, uh, we do it this way. So, um, uh, sweater, where can we find you? And then we'll yeah. go up. And then we'll and we'll rubber band back. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, so hey, look, we got the crown. Uh, yeah. the, the beginning of the semester punched me in the face a little bit uh, in, in ways I didn't anticipate. So I have not been streaming. I'm going to stream hopefully on Sunday. Uh, if I get really, really lucky, I'm going to stream tomorrow. Um, but probably Sunday, I'll do some uh, Yakuza like a dragon. And then I will post my new streaming schedule, which I'm still figuring out. Um, so wait, Jay plays. We got to we got to like do a better job of this. No, no you're going to go okay. up. You're going to go up. I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to go up. Yeah, we'll just yeah, go right. We'll go around. Question. Yeah, that's OK. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Are you ready? Oh wait, that went wrong Wait, way. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna both hold it so we can like see, okay. so we can like see where it is. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It's good. It's good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Good. It's hard because I'm like, oh wait, because I'm not used to the like needing to line up with your mirror self. I'm like, okay, I'll just take the bottom. Like it's not that. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So you can find me. My new. I started my new streaming schedule. Uh, 
this week. And so we'll see how long it holds for the semester. <laughs> but I'll be live tomorrow at 8 p.m. Pacific time. I'm actually, so I'm sticking with my, my humble choice. And so I have a couple of games that I am going to give away tomorrow um, as I play some of January's games. Uh, so I know I know for sure one one that I already own I'm giving away, um, but I, I'm trying to plan that out. So if you uh, are interested in any of the humble titles, I, they, I know for a fact I'm going to give away games that I personally am just never going to play because, you know, honestly, the game library is too much right now. So oh, the background. Uh, that's that's what I've decided to do for tomorrow. And then Saturday is gonna be uh, something, probably from EA Play, because I now I feel that I have that also as a subscription that I need to take advantage of that as well. So that's gonna be the weekend for me. Okay, Prof A. All right, hold on. Okay, I think I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Nice. Hey. Oh, our hours, our hours paid off. <laughs> um, yeah. So and I'm back on the same, like the same regional location. That's yeah. How yeah, yeah we're not. Yeah. The there's no yeah. time. Zone I'm telling you, it's that curvature of the earth. <laughs> no time zone difference. Coriolis effect is is happening. I don't know. Man, it's gonna get crazy once this lockdown is over. It's gonna get wild. <laughs> um so where am i next i'm back on my channel tomorrow 5 30 p.m u.s pacific time i'm continuing my uh play of uh to the moon aka prof a reads uh all the dialogue uh, it's been interesting i have been enjoying myself but then again i'm the person playing so it's hard not to enjoy myself but i haven't gotten any negative feedback from people so i'm gonna keep going and see how long uh prof a reads uh will last <laughs> Where, I guess last but not least, where um, are I mean, we, we can all? Do it. We can do it. We, we are, just, where are we all going to be? Just do it straight next. down and then I'll, I'll get it uh, this way. Yeah. <laughs> where, where do you want to go? Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Like, 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, all right. Hello. Um, <laughs> I have to put all my daughters on it. There you go. Um, so, <laughs> season two content, y'all. This is season yeah, see, two. Yeah. We've been working. Mm -hmm. And they say 10,000 hours makes you experts. And so you know, we're getting close. <laughs> So uh, I am I am genuinely going to attempt to stream a little bit more regularly this semester. It's looking like Friday, like kind of morning or, or like late late morning, early afternoon might be a time. I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, I was uh, last time I streamed, I actually had a really good FTL run going, so I may just uh, go with it. My ship was doing doing well. I had lots of gear and I was in good shape and stuff, so I might keep that up. Uh, or I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but hopefully tomorrow, probably around. 11 a.m. That's going to be my my guess. Uh, so look for that announcement or don't because most likely it won't be happening. However, I will be back with all of these lovely people next Thursday at our normal time, which is 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Uh, Mountain, 5 p.m. East Coast time. What is that? EST? Uh, yes, <laughs> at our normal time nice. uh, playing, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, one other uh, plug. You know, I, you know, I don't have any financial i, I get no compensation this, but, game. uh the free yeah. epic game this week just a good reminder at battlefront 2 celebration edition battlefront 2 oh, the star wars yes. game which is actually pretty fun uh i, I i'm not a big fan of, of like pvp kinds of games you know big multiplayer because i just you know like, you spawn and die in four seconds and stuff but this, <laughs> that one is actually pretty good and uh, of oh, course oh. Free. so we'll see that Nice. So um, with that, uh, thank you everyone for for joining us as always. Uh, we we always appreciate all the comments and the, the great stuff. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you again here next week. So take care.